Hey, amazing news for NA10 builders and AI enthusiasts who use semantic search. NA10 just dropped new feature called Verified Community Nodes and we immediately used it to introduce to you Quadrant's team-supported NA10 node, officially released just right now. Look at it, published two hours ago. This node can do anything that Quadrant can, from hybrid searches to re-ranking with multi-vectors, from batch upsorts and updates to sophisticated filtering, and it supports everything that the latest Quadrant version supports. So, if you have already used Quadrant in NA10, or saw our videos or blogs on how to use this combination, for example, for building RAG, agents, unstructured big data analysis tools, and you felt like you're fighting with the platform using all the time for Quadrant API calls HTTP nodes, not being able to do batch upsorts or updates to use embeddings of your choice or something else, your pain ends here with this node. And we are committed to support and update it. So if you have any feedback or suggestions or you would like to contribute, here is the repo of this node. And don't forget to star it, of course. Moreover, if you have any questions, you can also contact us in our Discord community where we are super happy to answer whatever comes our way. Now let's install and try it out together. It's available on cloud and self-hosted NA10 from versions 1.94 and up. And I'm here on the cloud of NA10. It should be as simple as finding this official node and clicking this button. And now you have it, it's installed. I want to quickly show a new possibility of using Quadrant in NA10 which is now available through Quadrant's node, hybrid search with sophisticated tooling like Fusion and various types of re-ranking and rescoring. This choice of demo in our node capabilities was easy to make. Hybrid search is very important to have at hand as it combines the preciseness of keyword-based search and semantical understanding of tense embeddings. And it's a default option in many domains like legal or medical fields where precise matching is vital. And this video is going to be a toy example, so just to encourage you to get started. Yet if you're interested in more sophisticated or real examples with combining Quadrant's new node capabilities and NA10, please write us, for example, in comments of this video, and we'll add more tutorials or even do a new webinar with NA10. Now let's test our node and see how to use hybrid search in Quadrant. And we will start with creating a collection. Here, I already have my credentials connected. I'm using free tier of Quadrant's cloud, which you can always use for the experimentation. If you don't know how to connect your credentials, how to create a cluster, where to get free tier, please watch a video that I did some time ago, which is called Connecting to Quadrant with NA10 Self-Hosted AI Starter Kit. I'm going to leave the link in the comments to the exact timestamp where I am doing all of that and where I am also showing how to open our web UI, which you can see here. Please check it out because I'm going to refer to this web UI and I think it's in general good for visually understanding how you are using your vector search solutions. Now we're creating our collection and this collection is going to consist of dense and sparse vectors, respectively for semantical search and for keywords based search. Vectors for semantical search are configured here and vectors for keywords based search sparse vectors are configured here. To figure out how to fill all of this correctly, use our docs. Here you can see our API reference. For example, this is the one for create a collection function that we are using now. And here you can see the example of using vectors and sparse vectors. This is going to be a dense vector part for semantic search. It's going to be called semantic, so the vectors are going to be called semantic. Since it's a toy example, they're just going to be of a size 4. And for comparison, we're going to use cosine similarity. For sparse vectors, the configuration is even more simple. So it's just going to be looking like this. This is the name of the sparse vector we're going to use in the collection. Let's call it lexical. And we don't have to put neither size nor metric because size of sparse vectors varies based on the amount of non-null elements in them. 
And for comparing sparse vectors in quadrant, we always use dot product. So what's left, we have our configuration. We just need to do some naming. Let's call it hybrid. And I think basically we set everything up so we can check if we can execute the step and execute the step. Our collection is created and now we can check it out in UI. We already can see both vectors being set up. However, now we have zero points in the collection. So the next step will be adding them up. That we could do in batches because our node allows us to do so. Yet, for simplicity, let's just use a simple absurd. Here you can see already a pre-filled example for you when you're doing a simple dense vectors insertion. But I prepared for you a ready-made example of three points for hybrid search, which contain bo both dense and sparse vectors. Let's study it. So here in IDs, we have UUIDs. You can use them or you can use also uh, UINT64 for IDs in Quadrant. Payloads we're not going to set. And for vectors, we can use both vectors in one point. This is a semantical or dense vector for hybrid search. And this is a lexical or sparse or keywords based vector for keywords based search with indices and their values. So it's indices of non-null values. And now we can choose the name of our collection we're going to insert these points into. And we can also run this operation and see our points being inserted. Let's check them out in UI. Here are our points. We can check them and even can perform similarity search. So we have our simple collection ready for hybrid search and hybrid querying. To perform hybrid search, we will need to query both types of results. So with sparse vectors and with dense vectors based on keywords representation of our query and based on the semantical dense embedding representation on our query. And then when we are going to get these two batches of results, we are going to merge them with a the fusion method. How to do it with Quadrant? You can check here in our query API. It's also the operation called query points in NA10, which I'm going to demonstrate. And here you can see that it's much broader in possibilities than just for hybrid search. You can use it for recommendations or discovery search. Here is the part for hybrid search where you can see exactly what I was explaining before. So this prefetching of two sets, one set of keyword space search results and one set dense embeddings vector search results, and then fusing them together in a smart way with reciprocal rank fusion. So let's do it in NA10. Now it's available with our node. Here we can see our query points and we can immediately see the prefetch part, which does prefetching of these two sets of dense and sparse vectors. Here is my preset example. Let's say we're using the same textual query, be it, for example, a name of a legal use case. And this query is represented in two ways, in semantical way, so as a dense embedding. And the same textual query is represented as a sparse vector, so based on its keywords. Here, we're going to query our Quadrant database both on semantical, with a semantical search and keywords-based search, get two topmost similar results, and then we need to fuse them, so use the fusion. For that, we have a simple formula like this and return top two of the fused results. All of this I got from the same API reference. Here you can see it in query points. For example, if you check query interface and you check queries here, you will see all the possibilities which are now also available in Quadrant's node, including fusion and also re-ranking, discovering and recommendation. Now we can run it on our hybrid collection. Let's check that we can do the proper execution and we can see our top two results fused with a hybrid search from sparse and dense queries. So just now you learned how to do a hybrid search with a new Quadrants NA10 node.
you get the idea and the possibilities are far more impressive. You can inspire yourself with our hybrid search revamped article where we show all the sophisticated methods of doing hybrid search with re-ranking and rescoring in Quadrant, including multi-vectors and also with our latest feature, which is called score boosting re-ranker, you can even affect in your own way, however you want, your rescoring formula. All in all, try it out. If you are happy, start the repo. And if you would like us to build something specific with Quadrant in NA10, please reach out. We're always ready to support tech community in building.